Don't forget to check out our Facebook page as well as our Instagram page to keep up to date on all of our posts that we do. And also don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications. Thanks guys. All right guys, what's up? <laughs> My name is Chris and I'm back with another video. Uh, it's been about eight, nine days since the last video I did, which was not even related to this series, but we're gonna jump back in with part three here. So we're gonna have our session open here. And uh, this is the live session we've been working on in part one and part two of going through a mix together. And um, if you don't remember, if you haven't seen part one and part two, go ahead and watch those. But we added some electric guitars and a pad uh, in, the, in the key of the song. And I tracked the electric guitars myself. So we can actually just name this EG one and then we'll name this eg2 i had three tracks but i didn't like the direction of the first track and that's why i had eg2 and three but now we're just going to make it one and two and then we have our pads here in the key of b flat and everything else has remained the same so let's go ahead and listen to it um, we're going to first let's mute actually before we do that I also created groups for the track so as you look down here you can see we have a guitars group now which includes acoustic guitar and electric guitar we have uh, a group for just electric guitars and a group for just acoustic guitars um, I doubled up on the acoustic guitar and I panned the acoustic guitars and I panned the electric guitars. So very, very cool. It's all going to submix just like it should. We still don't have any processing on anything. I'm just trying to get all the instrumentation together. For the next video, I'm gonna add bass and unfortunately, it's gonna be through MIDI, but regardless, there will be bass in the track. Um, so let's go ahead and mute We'll mute the two electric guitars, we'll mute one of the acoustics, and then we'll mute the pads. And then we'll center one of the acoustic guitars. Option click. And then this is what it sounded like in part two. So here we go. Let's get to where everything is kind of in. So not too bad. I mean, this is what it sounded like before we added everything. Let's go to where it picks up a little bit. So like, let's go right here. So it doesn't sound bad, but when we add the instrumentation that we had, let's pan now listen to the difference big difference. Now let's go to a part where there's the band kicking up.
So you could tell already a huge difference, and I muted while it was playing, if you didn't already tell, um, the track, so you can kind of see what difference it makes. So if we go back to the beginning of the song, you can actually hear the pad. There's the pad and B flat. It's just some uh, swells, uh, electric guitar swells and some synth. So that's very, very cool. And then we'll just save that. And then bass will be added in in the next video. Um, I don't think this video needs to be particularly too long. I just wanted to give a quick update on how the session is coming along. So now we have two guitars and a pad. So now the session is looking pretty, pretty full. Um, I still would like to get some EQ done. Obviously, we have no processing whatsoever, but in due time, in due time, um, I want to start EQing some of the vocals and, and everything, but I want to get all the instruments in there first. So once we get the bass in there, we'll go ahead and get it settled in, and then uh, that'll be part four. And then part five will just be the nitty gritty of EQing, compressing, uh, reverb, delays, all that fun stuff. Um, so not a huge video today, just showing you what it sounds like with the electric guitars and the pad added in. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all soon in the next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Peace, y'all.